Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. So today I have to go to a uh, Coumadin clinic to get my INR levels tested. And to be honest, I wish I didn't have to go, but this is quite literally what they consider an essential visit. So I'm gonna go do that, get my sweat on, and then I'll come check back in with you guys. Two hours later. Unfortunately, at the appointment today, I found out that my INR levels were low. Um, if you're a person on Warfarin or Coumadin, be sure to pay close attention to your diet. I know my diet has changed with the amount of greens that I consume simply because I am exclusively eating at home only. Usually my green consumptions were when I went out to eat, maybe got some toppings on a pizza or some like seaweed salad on uh, some sushi, but whatever the situation, I know that I need to uh, monitor my intake of food because my diet has changed, so be precautious of that. Um, also, one thing I want to challenge you guys today is to make a meal that doesn't come out of a package or a box. Something you don't make in a microwave or just just grab and throw into the oven. Um, multiple ingredients and put them all together to make something delicious. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to eat before I went to my appointment, so I'm gonna go ahead and make um, some breakfast right now that's gonna be delicious. On Patreon, like an archive of like 40 plus episodes that we all right, so what I've done here is I've got some gluten-free bread that I pre-toasted. I went ahead and made the eggs and then put some pre-cooked bacon over top of it and then some vegan dairy-free cheese that I'm currently using the broil setting to melt. Once that all comes out, I'm gonna have me a delicious bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich that has no dairy or gluten. I'm gonna be jumping on a Skype call with Ben from Adapt to Perform, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of chat session for all you folks that are stuck in 12 week quarantine over in the UK. I believe he's over there too. So. All right guys, so I'm here with Ben from Adapt to Perform, and we're gonna go ahead and jump on the live stream. This is gonna be coming out tomorrow, uh, but be sure to jump on his uh, Instagram page or his YouTube page to check him out. I'll make sure to link him down below so you can go see what he's up to. So someone in yesterday's comment section was asking about my kitty, and he is right over there. Let's go check him out. He's my little, my little buddy. You're a good boy. For those of you that have never met Akbar before, this is Admiral Akbar. He is a munchkin cat and has very little legs. Very tiny, stumpy legs. He loves napping and booping noses. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Look at those little legs. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, look at those little legs. Say hello, Akbar. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Hi. Ah, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite meals that I regularly make inside of my air fryer. This is gonna be almond flour crusted chicken tenders, because that's what I'm calling it, because it sounds more fancy than that. So right here, I have about uh, two and a half, uh, or two heaping scoops of almond flour. I got a lot of pepper. That's just gonna add a little bit of a, a spice to it. Um, and then a little bit of salt. Um, not as much salt as I just did. Pepper. Um, I've got my air fryer bucket um, over here to the side. So what I like to do is um, just grab a, a tender and just kind of like give it a good coat uh, if you don't have a granite countertop, you can definitely use a cutting board for this. And I always like to do it next to the sink so I can just scoop all this over towards the sink when I'm done. So um, the reason why I'm a, a big fan of um, making meals at home, is, especially in this situation, is because um, you don't ever you don't want to take the chance that someone else isn't being as clean or isn't being as sanitary or precautious as you. You know, and there's there's even a lot of people out there right now that just like can't afford to not work even if they are ill. I don't know, I, I don't really have a distrust in people, but I know how hard times can be and I know how money can be and I know how people can, you know, do things um, out of money that maybe they, they probably shouldn't do, you know, driving on a check engine light or needing to change your oil or bald tires or buying alcohol when you're partying instead of food. You know, pe people just do a lot of a lot of weird things. So I always like to cut off that little tendon that is attached to the chicken tenders. Um, so now that my chicken tenders are done here, 
Um, my hands are kind of already gross, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of scoop all this off. So I'll just go ahead and scoot that into the sink, and then I'll hit this area with a wipe. So this is my air fryer. For all you people that have been following me a long time, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with air fryers. I cook everything I possibly can. I don't think this one in particular is being sold anymore, but I'll be sure to link down below a comparable model. I'm pretty sure Andrew bought it and he's absolutely in love with it. But for these chicken tenders, I'm gonna put them um, at 395 degrees or 400 degrees, whatever you pick, uh, at about 10 minutes. We'll let them cook and we'll check them out. So there's this hot sauce that I've become a huge fan of recently. It's made from truffle oil. This one's made from black truffle oil. They got one made from white truffle oil and then another one that's even spicier. So now that these are ready to go, just grab your favorite sauce. Um, buffalo sauce is good, hot sauce is good, honey mustard is good, barbecue. I mean, literally you can't go wrong with any sauces. This is not a mukbang video. You don't have to worry about watching me eat. So for whatever reason, I've really been enjoying uh, coming out here in the evening and catching some fresh air and um, kind of closing out these these videos. And um, I came and sat on uh, this metal chair and it's covered in pollen. So now we are going to be entering the is it Corona or allergy season. <coughs> Any of you guys that live in uh, Atlanta know that it is a city covered in trees. So we're going to be just sneezing all over the place. Um, I just want to like open up and be kind of even more honest and open with you guys, but like I'm anxious, like a lot. Like I'm I am very anxious, and my I, I'm I'm shaky throughout the day. I've reduced like caffeine and coffee. Um, I've tried to watch less news. Honestly, I think I'm gonna start making a rule for myself where I'm only allowed to go check up on it maybe once a day for maybe 30 minutes and that's a rule that maybe you can adopt too if you're also feeling really anxious like I am and um, if you guys would, you're watching me on YouTube, let me know in the comments what some of your favorite YouTubers are that you really like watching. I, I, I'm open to anything, it doesn't have to be disability related. Um, anyway, I, I'm uncomfortable in my own skin. I am I'm not enjoying the social isolation. I'm not enjoying um, the, the uncertainty. I'm not enjoying sleeping at night. I'm not enjoying waking up. Like, even, even when I want to enjoy stuff, I mean, I know just yesterday's video, I said, hey, in your free time, do some stuff. And I had two books with me today that I was even gonna talk about with you guys, but I didn't end up picking them up because I was just feeling so anxious and so in my head and I know I'm going through a lot when I stop listening to music or podcasts. When I start to want to be in my head and, and just kind of overthink things and overanalyze things and um, I just want to be honest with you guys and you know hopefully my honesty will encourage you to be honest with yourself and with your friends but um, I'm uneasy and I'm also, I'm also kind of afraid. Um, you know, we can kind of see what's going on in Italy and we can kind of see that we're exactly on trend. However, something that's good to know about Italy is the grocery stores, the pharmacies, and Amazon never shut down. Then we should probably be able to successfully do that as well. Um, there's just a lot of future projections that people are talking about. They might, they may or might not be experts. I don't know, they probably aren't. You know, everyone on the internet, you know, trying to predict the future of this craziness and we are currently in unprecedented times. We're currently in a, in a state where um, everything's changing and it could be a situation where it doesn't ever go back. And that's terrifying. That, to me, that is terrifying. Um, but I've been through this before and if you're a wheelchair user or someone who's dealt with spinal cord injury before, you know what that's like. You know exactly what that's like. You've been through this before. The idea of going through something and it's horrible and it's terrible and all you want to do is get back to the way you were but after all this effort you realize that maybe going back doesn't exist anymore and to have acceptance for that is something that I don't know if I'm ready to have yet. I don't know if I'm ready to, I don't know. And that's okay. It's okay to not be okay and I'm currently not okay. I'm so not okay that I almost wanted to stay up all night and just eat all my food and just, you know, binge watch, you know, endless amounts of shows and sleeping tomorrow and just, um, I want to isolate. I, I feel, I feel my mental health slipping a little bit. Um, but I think that's normal. I think everyone's mental health is slipping. I think we're all slipping. And, um, you know, just 
all I can do is is encourage you guys and um, even you know if you've made it this far in the end of this video that means you're a homie and um, so I would really appreciate it if you could leave me some words of encouragement you know down in the in the comments because I'm just I'm not I'm not feeling it I'm just not feeling it you know like I miss my family I miss my girlfriend I miss my friends you know I miss hugs and high fives and you know I miss laughing and you know FaceTime is, is helpful but it's just not the same and I don't know but please be sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't a lot of you guys are not subscribed so please subscribe check out other playlists watch some of the other videos we got a bunch of cool videos and if you're hearing a sound in the background right now that's really weird that's a train so even around here in Atlanta we're not on lockdown even public transit is still going so um, anyway thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one guys Bye.